All right, so I am out on the front of our property and checking out all our new trees that we've planted and checking out some of our older trees that we have. And I am getting scared because I know that our trees, some of them, starting to go dormant. You can see our red barren peach starting to turn its colors because we're starting to get into some cooler mornings. But what I'm doing is doing some maintenance and I've got my gloves on and I'm finding this stuff right there. That jelly looking stuff. Hey friends and family and if you're just joining the channel welcome this is Aaron with AMZ Backyard Orchard and Vineyard and this stuff is not good. This is pretty much the ultimate demise of this tree. This is a bacteria it's airborne bacteria, but this stuff, see if I can get that in focus for you. This stuff is bacteria right here. It's coming out of the cambium layer. And I just talked to one of my expert friends. I sent him a video of this stuff. I talked, just got off the phone with him and it's pretty much a death sentence for this tree. It is a bacteria. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I'll try to get it into the video here. I'll leave that name of that bacteria. But ultimately, this is oh, this tree is on its way out. Here is the rootstock of the red barren peach. And then here's the desired fruit graft right here. Here's the graft union and the rootstock. So I need to throw this stuff away, put, that, put it there on the cement. And what I need to do in the dormant period is we're going to spray this stuff with copper fungicide right here. All up and down this trunk, we're going to, co uh, we're going to spray it with copper fungicide, copper sulfate specifically, and paint all this stuff after about three days. So we need to wait until this tree is dormant. Look at that stuff, that is bad. That is canker right there. We need to wait until this tree is dormant to be putting on this copper fungicide because it's, it's gonna put this tree into shock. But this is all just bacteria. And a lot of it can be prevented by spraying your young trees in their first year when they're nice and small, when their trunks are like this big. That's just a metal rod. But when the you got brand new fruit trees that don't have this canker here, spray them with that copper fungicide when they're dormant. If you get your fruit trees in the springtime or in the fall before the trees are dormant, paint them with an interior latex paint, about 50-50 mix, and paint the trunks all the way down to the root base here, the crown of the roots here. And make sure that when you get your mulch out, don't touch the tree. Don't touch the tree with your mulch because all that mulch is decomposing and rotting. It's decomposing with bacteria and fungus and not all bacteria and fungus are good for your trees, especially the tree trunk and especially here the fruits, uh, the root stock, all right? So get your stinking mulch away don't be afraid of exposing these roots these roots are hardy they've got a nice callus layer and and they are feeding deep below the root system that you see on the outside so get your mulch away from the root stocks okay so after this tree has got at least 80 percent of its foliage off of the tree when the leaves turn colors and they drop and they hit the ground when you got about 20% left leaves, that's when you can spray it with that fungicide. And then when it's fully dormant, just before bud break, just before bud swell on this fruit tree, we're going to spray it again one more time with that copper fungicide right in there. And try to slow, slow the death period, so to speak, so we can at least enjoy this tree for a little bit longer. It's going to be fighting to grow and uh, we don't want to spread that bacteria to other trees. So that's why we spray it with that copper fungicide and then paint it with the, uh, the white latex paint. 
in interior latex paint for about a 50-50 mix. And so what I'm doing is I'm checking out all my other little baby trees. Here's the the rootstock right here. Here's the graft union, and then here's the uh, the peach variety right here. So I'm checking, making sure all my fresh trees aren't touching any of this decomposing mulch compost. This right here is just native soil, so we're good. This is the root by the, the crown of the roots. You can see them poking out over here over here so this is the crown of the roots as long as we are staying away from this little tiny space right there that little space right there we need to keep that dry dry as a bone and this tree will thrive on its own and then over here by our pluot tree our pluot tree is looking pretty good I'm not finding not really finding anything here maybe just a little bit on this side it's a little bit of that jelly stuff it's all bacteria so I Definitely want to keep it exposed to the sun, and hopefully the sun will just kind of bake it off and maybe kill some of the bacteria, but yeah, that stuff's not good. You can see the roots out here, so that's our crown, and you can see how black, black all that stuff is. That's just all compost that I need to get away from the root stock right there. So that is what we're doing right now. Hopefully that saves your trees ahead of time. Get your trees painted right now. Interior latex paint, 50-50 mix. And paint your trunks so that you don't accidentally rot them out with all that wonderful black compost that we're all trained to leave out by our trees. But make sure it's just not touching the root stalks. Make sure it's not touching the trunks, especially on the new trees that you've got. So like I said, I just got off the phone with my friend. He's a fruit tree grower locally here in the valley. And uh, he mentioned that a lot of the plums, apricots, pluots, fruit trees like that, these are stone fruit trees. These are This is our peach tree. And luckily we've only got about two trees that are affected, but that stuff is not good. So mostly just plums and apricots and pluots, and this is a uh, peach tree. Are more susceptible to this bacteria that uh, is the ultimate demise of these trees they are they are slowly slowly dying which is horrible as a fruit tree grower like myself so hope you learned something if you did give this video a nice like even though this is devastating news hopefully this will save you and your family and any other friends that you've got that are growing fruit trees especially young ones this is definitely something to know about before it, you get infected, your trees get infected. So follow us. We're going to be spraying these things in the wintertime. Make sure you're following us, and we'll give you guys updates on these trees, see how long they last. This is November 2023, and we're just starting to get into fall. So if you do have any questions, comments, concerns, suggestions, please leave them down in the comments section below. We do love hearing from all of our viewers. So from my family to yours, thanks for watching.